Yes, right here on the August Show, we played Hot Extreme, bringing the most exclusive interviews today. We are joined by a man who is undoubtedly one of the, the most dynamic lyricists to emerge from Jamaica over the last 20 years. He first set foot in a studio in 1999 and has not looked back since. He gave you hits like Step On Them, Straight, Anywhere We Go, Ginep Stain, Jagide and Protect, Idiot Thing That, As A Man, Do It If You're Bad, them guy there, same thing again, something gotta give, stronger, winning right now. He collaborated with musical luminaries like Freddie McGregor, Master Griffiths, Bunty Killer, Wayne Marshall, Romain Virgo, Spraga Ben, Steve O'Malley, Kibaka Pyramid, Stoneboy, and Shaggy. His lyricism has gained him attention from A-list artists like Kanye West, resulting on him delivering an incredible verse on Kanye's song, A Minute. His verse on Raekwon, Soundboy, Kill It is phenomenal, and the chorus he, he laid on Kendrick Lamar's Black of the Berry is beyond belief. He has appeared in feature films like Shutters and is featured in iconic publications like Billboard, Rolling Stone, and Double XL magazines. His music receives unwavering support from platforms like One Extra in the UK and New York's Hot 97. This is the man who said, We are making mark in our history like a Sharpie. We're not carbon, we not left, we not carbon, we not left mark on copy. We do we think smartly, so when them a party, put in the work and retire by 40. Cream of the crap like Blue Mountain Coffee, never sloppy. None of them can stop we. Our progress and make them unhappy. I must cotton bullets killing them softly. It's not FBI, it's not CIA, it's not MI6. It's the agent of the poor and the oppressed. It's Agent Sasko. Yo, more <laughs> meet the brother there. You just stop one while ago. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, you meet to everybody, man. You yeah, meet to yeah, everybody. Yeah, man, give Every thanks. day with God said. Reggie, I have to say, I'm very much honored and privileged to be the second time to be interviewing you. Yeah, and man, even though the first time I had to go in with the with, with the introduction, this time I say, you know, I always take it to a next level because you have done even more. Yes. I know you're back in the UK now. Yeah, man. You understand? Brand spanking new album. Yes. You understand? 17 years in the business. Yes, sir. Still relevant. Yeah, man. Still the phone calls, them still coming. The bookings, them still coming. Yes, sir. And we can, one of the things I've seen of the four um, studio albums that you've released, you cannot, even you look at the titles of the album, mm -hmm. you can actually see growth Mm -hmm. and change and development i mean now you're, you're going into production yeah. as well mm -hmm. so you go from just an art a dj holding the mic delivering lyrics that's it mm -hmm. so the whole creative process has changed in the same time absolutely so, so brother i mean what has been for you <coughs> because people are defined by their challenges yeah you understand i believe your growth is defined by your challenges what yes. has been the most significant challenges that you've had to meet over that time um uh, yeah i think <coughs> getting getting comfortable enough with what my, uh, identifying also what my true uh, mission or purpose is within this music. Cause right. you know, I've loved music from, you know, as far as I can remember. Right. Um, and then, you know, sort of had a natural introduction to the business of music mm -hmm. by not even trying to, to do it. So I was pretty much giving songs away. Right. Um, w and that started my career. Right. Um, so my challenge for the for the last 17 years to me has been just getting closer and closer to defining what you know what my true mission is within the right, music and then right. committing to it because right. there was a time when i think i identified it several years ago mm -hmm. but wasn't committing to it and right. it led to a, a, a particular kind of frustration right. where you're having success but you're not having the kind of fulfillment that you should wow. have with it you know so mm. so the theory of relativity was um, the first step towards, uh, you know, committing to, to, to the calling that I'm feeling and, right. you know, in terms of the, the type of music that I want to do and the type of music that, you know, gives me fulfillment. Right. And so, you know, Hope River is even, you know, more so um, delving into that and also after putting certain things in place to facilitate that. So, like, building my own studio right. was mm -hmm. critical to, to this kind of expression. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, absolutely fantastic, brother. I mean, like I say, Hope River, I mean, I listened to the whole album, man, and yeah. there's so many different, I mean, it's a journey. Yeah. Personally speaking, I mean, I believe that Hope River should be accompanied by a documentary. <laughs> No, nah, I believe I believe there's somebody so has said that. As a matter of fact, somebody offered to do the documentary really? for free. Like right, yeah, like right. yo, let me shoot this. You right. Know I mean? And mm -hmm. in fact, you know what, I think I mean, maybe again, I'm just an outsider looking in. From the creation of the album, the, from the concept, because really for me, Hope River is a concept album. Yes, it is. Basically, because the, the, and it's a concept that you explore from various angles, a global angle, mm -hmm. a local angle mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So people internationally can relate 
people locally can relate. Yeah. So for me, it's a concept album. From a con- from the concept was conceived, mm-hmm. I believe say, well, I get the camera. Let's yeah. just shoot everything. Yeah. Everything where I do, yes. Yeah, because to me, un- I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, mm-hmm. I have not seen an album with a concept mm-hmm. like this, with various, like I said, that will appeal locally and globally mm-hmm. before, especially coming out of Jamaica. Yeah. So that's why I feel say, from the from the first when it was conceived. Yes, from man, just make sure you capture everything. Just shoot everything, because so, right now we do something where yeah. me not feel say anybody, we need to capture this. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, uh, well, you know what? If it, um, so over the last few, over the last few days leading up to the to the release on Friday, right. I've been going through um, my um, album, the, right. as in the, the what I call Track it, the, the phone, no, the phone, the, the phone video album. Right, okay. And finding some of those moments that we're able to capture with right. that idea in mind. Okay. And of course, you know, I believe in continuous improvement. And so mm-hmm. this time around, we take a phone and we shoot something. And there was a time when I have like a standing at the corner. Some of the videos you can see when we go and we set the phone and mm. we try to record the entire right, session. Right, right. Um, you know, but in in pursuing continuous improvement, next time around, we know that um, we, we have a, you know, a, a, a proper setup, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, probably putting studios, um, camera in the studios to capture everything, not mm-hmm. just a particular project, yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah, 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 so, yeah. so that is, you know, certainly something that we try to do, but you know, mm. we could improve upon. Absolutely. And, and, and we, and I will be going through all of that um, mm. footage, the, all the things that we captured and I will be putting together, together. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. from that. And we did, we did capture some significant moments. As I say, some of it is on my Instagram now, like there's a, um, there was a, a, a moment when I, I, I hit a particular note on the on the tune journey mm-hmm. um when it when it goes um um i cherish every step and i got no regrets for the, for the second time on your ear your ear my bridging flubs in at the control room i said bah, bah. I mean, <laughs> yeah so you know we capture some right, of them, them right. key moments yeah, there yeah, 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 um yeah, you know yeah, we yeah. capture recording um like you know the song all aboard with queen i freak and mm-hmm. tony rebel in the studio yeah, and, you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah we got some some great bits excellent you know um excellent. so so excellent. yeah we try to do that absolutely brother i mean but like i said let's rewind really the clock a little piece i mean people see you you're doing i mean it's a it's a it's a, it's a big journey from ken Tyre to kendrick and mm-hmm. kanye it's yeah. a big journey yeah you understand many have come before you have not gone as far as you have yeah. you understand to get that international recognition i understand that you also um is it um fi- film is scoring a film and all them is it, is it um yeah, so they, they, they sent me um some the 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 some score work on uh what's it named Baywatch. Baywatch, Baywatch yeah the so film Baywatch. So, you know yeah I, you know what i've you know give thanks i've, I've gotten some opportunities to represent the music and right. one of the things that you know i try to do is to my responsibility, I believe, is to keep myself in the kind of um, you know creative space where I can you know take advantage of whatever the opportunities are, right. and represent the music well, and by extension, you know, represent myself well, and um, and so you know we give thanks for the you know for every chance we get for do that. Yeah, man, for real. But like I said, um, just going back to um, the lyricism itself, because that's where it all starts. You mm-hmm. understand? For you, in, in my understanding, obviously, you've grown into. What I would say a more rounded and complete artist. Yeah. You understand? Cause mm-hmm. now it's not just about the lyrics you have to deliver and then somebody produce it and or then producer rhythm send it come here. Now you're actually making the song itself and producing the lyrics as well. So mm. the, 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 the the expression mm. is is greater from you now. Yeah. But before we get into that, just let's let's deal with the lyricism. Mm. I understand that I mean these lyrics are like I said with, we've been talking about they're layered. Mm. And they're very intricate. Yeah. But at the same time, I understand you don't actually write them down. <laughs> no. So, so <laughs> you see, this is this is the thing where where it fascinates me. Yeah. How can somebody, um, how you just ever walk me through it? How can you de- deliver mm-hmm. and come up with these layered lyrics, mm. intricate, amazing wordplay, mm-hmm. but you don't write it down? And how do you remember it for uh, like years to come? All right. Well, so so. F- First of all, l- let's take it back to real um, stage one where when I first started to put any kind of material together for right. myself. Mm. And that started when I was very young, you know, maybe, I don't know, three or four years old. Right. And I would, you know, I fell in love with music and I would try to learn my favorite songs when I heard them. Because, right. you know, kids today, like my kids, them go on YouTube and them listen to songs 700 times right, right. because they have that kind of access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, usually I feel just 
hear it in a probably pan a bus yeah. or hear it pan the radio next door car quite a, for quite some time me not even did own a radio wow. in a my mo, you know what I mean wow. so when you hear the song you try to learn it mm -hmm. and what would happen is when you try to learn the song you probably catch three line but you not catch the fourth one <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know what I mean and so what you would happen is I would sing the part that I know out mm -hmm. of the real song right. and then I would just fill in the blanks <laughs> okay with, with a line that I figure would have, you know right. makes sense yeah, and yeah, fit yeah, in yeah. the melody and yeah, thing yeah, yeah. Um, and so there was no writing involved in that because okay. you learn the song by yes, hearing it. Yes, yes, and yes. then when you are, when you are, you know, um, rep re reproduce the song, then you, you add your own line. Mm. So I guess bec because that's how I started, I never, it never moved from that to, okay, let me, you know, let me write. I don't know. I, I just, it just never get to writing it down. And then the next thing is, um, you, you know, I would find myself just trying to think about, you know, putting lines together all the time. And, you know, when I was on a bus or, you know, what, you know whatever, while doing mm. your chores yeah, and things, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. can't, you can't wash plate and write at the same time. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it just yeah, became yeah, this yeah, thing yeah, where, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and I used to I used to do this thing where I used to knock my teeth together to make a rhythm okay. while, while, while DJing. Right, right, um, right. I, I can't even do it anymore, you know. But anyway, you know, so I, I think that's how, you know, because I, that's when I started. And then I tried to write it mm. after that. Yeah, a couple yeah, people yeah, tell yeah. me, so, yo, if you write it, it's going to be better. Mm. And I tried it. It just, yeah, it just don't work for me. Right, yeah. right. Okay. But, but, uh, but, then, but one of the logics behind it is, I mean, mm. you know, I would really like to, you know, you know, make it seem like it's, you know, so incredible or whatever. But the way I see it is just as, oh, I'm not, I'm not writing down what I'm saying to you yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same way because it, it, it's, it, it coming, it coming from the same place, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a conversation. Um, and then the difference is, I think... I think people write it down to remember it. Yeah. In the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow over the years I have developed the ability to remember it without writing it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and by using I guess certain little mental muscles that mm. I have developed that maybe somebody else haven't because you know it's like it's like I, I just see it. I just see it different. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> it's like when it, when it's like I see the I can see the composition. Um, you know, once I remember one line and thing, but here's what's interesting also is that nobody ever go up on a stage with them lyrics in them and no, for sing the song, so no. you still have to learn it yes, anyway. Yes, yes, so, yes. so, so learning the song from jump, Day one. Yeah, yeah, eliminate yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the, the learning yes, part. Yes, yes. But then, what is interesting though, especially you know, when you start to, I mean, I have, I have over 300 releases, and so when as you were reading the lyrics to that verse a while ago i, I didn't remember it yeah and so when i hear back some of the lyrics i'm also impressed by it like wow <laughs> cotton bullet kill them softly that bad, <laughs> that you know? bad. yeah yeah <laughs> because you know in the moment yeah. you know you, you know you put it together and you record it and thing but then you know several years after mm -hmm. you know you, you know probably remember everything so you yeah, know yeah, it's yeah. very interesting you've done so many verses that was from yeah. nyanda's um footprints yeah, that's oh, see them? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, cause I, I, was I, playing, I, no. I didn't even remember but where that's where, what, that's where the fan come in because, yeah. like I said, miss me anywhere, me any you, anything you, with your part. Yeah, you me are, it, me are listening, yeah. me are yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah, give and thanks. Me are say, make my mark in a history like a sharpie. We're like, you know, make your mark. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, cotton bullets killing them softly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. That trust me, brother. Yeah. So um, I mean, I know in the previous interview we talked about tunes like straight, we talked about anywhere we go, the creative mm. history of those tunes and step on them and idiot thing and all them mm. tunes. Mm. So I, I can understand at that time, this was like when you just start and the juggling. When you are every everything when you're the juggling. Yeah. You're in at the juggling that time. Then. And not only that, you know, you know, like um at the stage of my development at that time I was, you know, you know, uh, a young man, twenty, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, um, and then so no, you know, the content I get, you know, gets reflected a lot of that. Yes. And so you know, now where I'm mentally now is like the kind of music that I, like I say, I truly want to create, and the Absolutely. music that gives me fulfillment is just, I, 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 you know, just a bit more substantial than, than a lot of that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, brother. And like mm. I say, for me. I can see the growth. For me, where I say the turning point or the, the most obvious turning point, the tune, mm. Guide and Protect. You yeah. understand? For me, that was the tune for me yeah. where I could say a shift, yeah. a seminal shift in the content itself. Skill yeah. still there. there. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that never going to change because yeah. that's assassin. That yeah. is Agent Sasko. You understand? Yeah. But Guide and Protect now, mm -hmm. I mean, you play that in a dance now. Mm -hmm. Thing turn up. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So walk me through... Um, would you agree that's a, 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 that that was a pivotal moment? And if it was, also what much of the creative history? Well, 
Well, that song represented, um, and I, well, I think, I don't know in chronological order what it was, but Hand to Mouth mm, okay. um, <clears throat> was, I went into the studio, I already heard Cartel song on the rhythm because it was, it, like, it was, it come out before the rhythm actually right, released. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and so I knew Cartel song and the, and the rhythm of Hand to Mouth, I love them. Mm. Um, and the song did already start, you know, pick up steam. Yeah. And um, going to the studio to record on that rhythm, it would have been a, it would have been a, almost an offside goal for just do a song we could have mixed with a cartel tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. cartel tune done big already. Mm. If you do a song where I talk about how much you love girls or whatever, something mm. neat. Cause, you know, yeah, you have yeah, years yeah. off and neatly. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fitting at the juggling, so mm, to speak. Mm. Um, but, you know, I consciously decided that, boy, more to something more substantial than just a, a frivolous tune. Right, right. Um, even if it means uh, the tune now go mash up dance, mm. but I think it's still, you know, something that people still need Absolutely. to hear and you have a, um, we'll have an audience with, with somebody. Mm. So I'm mm. going to do the song Antimount. Right. As we get the money, yeah. it don't. Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, like I said, I mean, this side say a social commentary, I go mm. do with it mm -hmm. and thing. Um, I think that to me represents me committing to what the, the kind of material I wanted to do, e even in the midst of dance hall, what I was doing. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Because, you know, the idea is if you're doing certain material, it comes like, you know, it has to dip on a, a one drop rhythm because, you know, certain things must be, you know, I. Yeah, I, I you I, must put it on a one drop. And if it's going to be in the juggling, yeah, then you have to talk you about, have to talk about <laughs> X, Y, and Z. Yeah, right, yeah. So, so Antomo to me represented that shift. And then. Right. Then we, then we, guide I guess and protect, we, and yeah. guide and protect now extension more of that. is an extension of that right, vibe okay. where you depend on a dance hall rhythm and you know you can sing about so many other things and mm. man you know man depend rhythm at but whatever and me decide to me go sing about the Almighty right. so you know that was like I said an extension of that I mean one of the, my favorite tunes as well drop the juggling man Ginep Steen and all them tunes they still yeah. well, as a man all them tunes they still yeah. but yeah I mean as you've mentioned um, there's a gravitation now towards um, social commentary, a gravitation mm. towards speaking into the hearts and minds of people. And, yes. You know, seeing if you can, uh, even through your through your um, ability and your musical talent, use that as an instrument for change. Of course, right? of course. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but theory of regativity, as you've mentioned earlier, that was another uh, way you say, okay, not just a single here, a single there. Mm -hmm. This is now a body of work. Yes. Which is. Um, along those lines and exp not only like as expressing not just the the, 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 the dance hall juggling you know what I mean mm -hmm. um, uh, hype up thing but also now um, entertaining people but at the same time informing them and yeah. even giving some guidance as such yeah, so yeah. What, um, when you went into the studio regards to create um, theory of regativity was it because of the confidence you had after the first um, the first two mainly conscious conscious choosing that you did oh no said, so you know so, I mean? so when when you when you look back at it, you know, um, it, it certainly wasn't two conscious tunes. I mean, we can talk about same thing again. CM we can talk again. about yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like uh, uh, give thanks, give mm. thanks to me one dumpling in my plate, cause <laughs> one better than none. Mm. You have a tune named Stay Like Bees. I mean, there's mm. there's a, a long list of, of, of tunes that um, some gotta give, some things gotta <laughs> give. You know what I mean? Yeah, them yeah, them yeah. kind of thing. So, mm. no, what regativity, like I said, represents to me was committing to. Um, just this vibe that I was feeling and, and understanding because the negativity came shortly after the Kendrick Lamar feature right. and a lot of people felt like I should you know maybe do a project that would sort of you know kind of try to appeal to that space Right. but you know I'm not a rapper and if I'm going to if I'm going to um, achieve quote unquote success by who's ever definition mm. it has to be um, as such that I can get fulfillment from it because right. I already went down the road of having, you know, relative success and not being fulfilled by it. Yeah. So, so yeah, know yeah, said yeah. there is no, there is no fun in that. Right, right, so right. there is no way I could be now trying to do kind of like, you know, you know, trying to fit into a, a rap space, mm, but mm. I'm not really that more hard, no, but I yeah, try to do it for yeah, the buck yeah, or hype. something. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's taking a step back. You, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> precisely. So, so regativity, to, you know, to me was just committing to, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Keeping my creative um, process um, authentic. Right, right. You know, right, and right. Um, in alignment with what I'm feeling at the time and what mm -hmm. I want to express. Just mm -hmm. simple as that. 
Absolutely. But you know what? You touched on, um, we're going to come to Stronger later on, because that's one of the, um, the tunes from Theory of Regativity. But we can't not talk about the whole Kendrick situation. You understand? I mean, as, uh, when I first started, when we first started the interview, I mentioned about, you know what I mean, how uh, you can tie out to Kendrick. Mm. I mean, can tie out to Kendrick and Kanye. Yeah. That's a big distance. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of artists have been doing it longer than you. Mm. But the recognition that you're getting internationally, they have, they are yet to achieve that. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of um, the, 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 these Rayquan as well, like I was saying earlier before we start the interview, the the, the, the collaboration with Rayquan again. That's again my favorite of the three. Mm -hmm. But why do you think your international acclaim is, or your your um, inter the attention that you gain internationally, especially? Um, are, it seems as though you're an artist, artist. Mm. It seems even if you don't get the the, the, the hype where some of the other DJ them get and say, boy, that one had the number one DJ, that one had the number one DJ, or whatever. You're consistent, yeah. but at the same time, you seem to transcend Jamaica, mm -hmm. and that you people recognize you maybe even outside of Jamaica, possibly more than they recognize your talent within mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you think that is? You know, um, I I don't I don't know. Um, I don't think about it like that necessarily. You know, uh, like I said, my my responsibility to the music that I love so much is to um, stay ready to take advantage of um, whatever opportunities that present themselves. It might be um, Kendrick or Kanye, or, or it might be you know some some new youth or nobody don't know yet that right. this song going come come bust the world. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you know, and and to be a true student of the music and to be you know sincere with the music, it means that you don't need to tell me that. Um, this thing is for, um, I don't know, them going resurrect Michael Jackson and do this thing for him and therefore you need to do yeah, your best on yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, my yeah. effort is, is consistent when it comes out to the music because it's, it's something I love and you know, I always treat it with that respect. Right, right. So so the Kanye feature, for example, wasn't a Kanye feature when I, when, when I went to do okay. it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. I was invited to record some things um, in sort of like a general session. So it wasn't mm. like them sent for me now or nothing. I'm not right. sit down and go like a Kanye <laughs> call me and say, yo man, that kid assassin. And it, no, <laughs> is my bridge in Dale Virgo at G-Jam. Mm. Um, say, yo, Kanye team them there and they want some people for record something for this compilation or the model. Um, and so him suggested them, yo, the, you know, like them, oh, they, like they to him, yo, who you think, which, whatever. Mm, so mm. that my name was in the in the mix. But that means, so, so that means, say so you yeah, need up for a standard. Yeah, yeah, no, no, of course, no, 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 of, <laughs> yes, right, you know, I'm, right. and once again, that is my responsibility again mm. for do my work in a sort of way that if you know, if if people going, you know, make a list of people who they think can contribute to mm, the thing, mm. my name can up on the list. That's right. my responsibility. Absolutely. All right. So so when we go to the session now. Them said them just want something for some compilation of them I go do. It wasn't a Kanye album. And um But you knew it was for Kanye West though. You knew it was for Kanye. Yes, it's his production right. team, okay. but okay. but okay. it was him producing something or whatever. Mm. Anyhow. So I did a couple of verses, me even help two people write them verse too. Okay. You know what I mean? Even though we did quote unquote that if we compete with each other. But once mm. again, if if the music is is you know is the music is in in the in the forefront mm. and therefore any kind of representation what that verse going get or whatever is still a representation a representation for the music and and for me by extension same right. way. Mm. so whether that you know what i mean that's a whole of vibe and thing months after we left the session i just do me had one cut months after i left the session now me there my one time and the same um bridging deal so yo can you hear them i look for you <laughs> and so what do you mean the man said boy i don't know i don't know if they want your record over something or they want you but yeah them i look for you mm. so right right next next thing me know is the song come out right um so what you know once again that to me just represents that you know just stay ready um be in a situation where whenever you whenever you you, you know you go around the microphone or on a stage or whatever for, mm. do, for do what you do you know just do it in a way that you represent the music well and by extension you represent yourself well right right and right. and let the chips fall where they may and you know, of course we give thanks for the opportunities and um you know what they represent to me is that there you know there is no there is no question that we can do music um that will resonate with the mainstream absolutely so so so, so th what i take away from it is that uh, you know okay we've proven that we can we can do music that can you know be played on the grammys yes, um yes. and have people feel it and, yes. and have a uh, worldwide impact yes and so um you know we're still on the mission to to continue to do that absolutely brother mm -hmm. i mean 
like I say, I know I understand that the Kanye, the that's a Kanye that was a bit more um, abstract. Obviously, mm. it has its in of itself. It shows your lyrical ability that that sh that stood out. Yeah. As well, and he used that verse. Mm. So even if you could say, okay, he didn't, he wasn't like collaborating with directly. Mm. The fact that the music, yeah, no, the, no, the quality of, of course, it there's great value. No, I took, I, I, I there's a lot, to, there's a lot to take away of from course, that. Of course, absolutely. You know, because he wasn't, he wasn't at the session, mm. and so you know, clearly when they took back the stuff and were playing it, mm. he was, he was, you know, clearly um, impressed by by that, that verse. One, I wanted to absolutely. use it. So, so yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate the value in that but for sure, most, brother. And like I say, so with regards to the the, 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 the Kendrick, that was mm. a slightly more, no, it, yeah, it was more that's direct. A direct or, way. Yeah, in other words, they sent it to me. Um, right, the right. producer sent it to me. And you know, I was able this time around to write within the concept of the song, right? Um, because if if you remember, I'm I'm in it. Kanye I sing about one thing, I'm here about something, something else. else. Right. But, you know, so I'm just use it for the vibe of it. Mm. But on Kendrick, um, the Black of the Berry, you know, I I got um like a demo. I didn't hear any of Kendrick's lyrics, but there was a demo of what the, the vibe was, mm. was mm. going to be, and I and I was able to you know right to that. Right, right, mm. right. Okay, but I mean, this is me just gonna be a fan now, brethren. Mm. Some boy kill it <laughs> with Rayquan, brother. Yeah. But that the one there. Now this is where you actually were in the studio. Yeah, man. So we're there in the studio. Right. Um, with, no send tune. Um, everybody no, in the studio yeah, working Jerry Wanda, together. Right. Um, you know, Rayquan did the and thing, and you know what I mean. And, and so, so here's the thing. You see that kind of access. Mm. Like when you have that kind of access, clearly the, the process is going to be so much, you know, be be yeah, better. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Um, and so you know, once again. I was in the studio for maybe 10 minutes and then played the thing and man is like, yo, what do you say, put a verse? Once again, staying ready. I'm mm -hmm. going out the booth same time. Boom, 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 shut up the verse. You know what I mean? So yeah, like you have to just you have to just ready to get it done. Right. And then you know so at the time now, you have to bring the vibe. So a man can say, yo, this wicked, yeah, we mm. need for you know what I mean? Yeah, Otherwise yeah. it can just be you put on a verse and then when you lift the man and the society, nah, it weak. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so you know, it was a good vibe and you know, once again, big up Jerry Wanda who is also, you know, just a, a, a very significant part in terms of one of the, the, the links between um Reggae and dance or music yeah, and, 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 and you know hip hop culture, you know. So yeah, yeah, big up yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Absolutely, brother. And like I said, Rick one of my favorite MC. Yeah. You understand? When it comes yeah. to dance, and it was cool too. Like it was very cool. Like, you know, big up Rick one. Um, mm. you know, cause some of the time you meet some of the bridge in them and you know what I mean the experience about whatever him was very cool. Mm. I met Kendrick as well, cool dude, Kanye. Mm. People have a lot to say about Kanye, but when mm. I met Kanye it was it was cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay, that's yeah, good it was, man. It was cool, yeah. Excellent, brother, excellent. Yeah. Well, like I say, brother, um so the, uh, the Obviously, the, the um the album theory of relativity. Now, even the concept, the name of the album, so um, relevant in terms of uh, again, it speaks to you know how much you read. <laughs> you know, you sound like a very well read no, person. Well, I, I, I can't take credit for the reading. <laughs> yeah, I need to read more. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. we all can read more. <laughs> yeah. But but well, like I say, it, sh it it speaks to the fact that this is someone who um thinks beyond the immediate. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Um, but also the song stronger mm -hmm. because I mean that one again. Um, sort of encapsulates also the, con the, 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 the what you're trying to convey throughout the whole album. Yeah. What much of the creative history of that song? And as I said, the video as well is very well, visually engaging. Well, Stronger um, is a rhythm played by Raging Fire, song produced by Silly Walks. Rhythm was played at Tough Gang, and I also went to record my, my verse at Tough Gang. And there was just the, the sound of the rhythm, like it does really feel like Tough Gang for you. It feel like, you know, that, that time and place. And I was in the studio looking at this picture of Bob Marley. Wait, sit down and I take out some, I guess he might take out some thing out time, top pocket, mm. like a spliff in man, or something like that. <coughs> and um, yeah, I just, I just, in the moment, I tried to, I guess, time travel to that time right, right, and, right, right. And, and, and zone into the rhythm and try to imagine what a song might sound like on this rhythm if it was created at that time right, right, you know right. with them you know with that sort of energy mm. um so and so that what that's what went into it and then of course you know like i say i wanted something you know powerful and, and uplifting yeah yeah, yeah 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 and the video itself man that's got like what 246 000 views on youtube and yeah. all them kind of thing there obviously you got the brand spanking new album out now yeah hope river, hope river yes right so we're taking we're taking it to one. I, I believe, like I said earlier, I mean, this album speaks on many levels, locally and globally. Mm -hmm. You understand? I believe it's a seminal piece of work. I believe it's very pivotal and it's very much yeah, necessary Give for our people in Jamaica and worldwide. You understand? Yeah, so, I mean, 
um, it never break with spirit growing up broke, rolling out, rolling out smelling of carbolic soap. Smelling like carbolic soap. Right. Mm. Yes, a regular we run boat just to stay afloat. Mm. Now, people don't understand when you run boats. You, know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. have to grow up in Jamaica yeah, you know yeah, when yeah. you run boat. Yeah. You understand? We run joke just for cope. Uh, mm -hmm. Here one now. Social mobility, limited scope. Mm. Mama make we know set time longer than rope. Oh, we not frightened for nothing because we used to go without used to go without uh, from food stamp now we stamp full up full up with passport yeah <laughs> you understand yeah man. um here what juvenile no put no gun in your john sport for collect no bank note no that are the wrong sport mm. every um everybody, everybody wants want a, a bus, bus like, like public tra transport yeah. <laughs> you understand yeah, man. but everything curry like good all the food everything curry, curry like, like good, good. yeah man. <laughs> so now even within that, mm -hmm. right? Like I said, global to local. Locally, mm -hmm. people can relate. Mm -hmm. Globally, people can relate. Just that yeah. verse alone, yeah. people can relate. Yeah. Now, and that's just that's, that's your verse mm -hmm. um, from from Banks of the Hope yeah. on the album, out, yeah. which is out <clears throat> on the thirty first, thirty first of August, August. Yeah, and you can pre order now. Yeah, yes, man. On, on all the platforms, and yes, iTunes, sir. and you can stream it too. All of that, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, man, that's the, that's your verse from Banks of the Hope. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, I played that about I don't know about me get the get the album most of last because most about three hundred times I don't play anyway. But <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a fan anyway, so yeah. me, just, me just accept me a fan and it done. Yeah, no man, man. give thanks. Remember to fight it. <laughs> give thanks. Remember to fight it. I hide it. We just say yeah, man. Give thanks. I appreciate that man. <laughs> For real. Remember, remember to hide it and fight it. So I hate that. Yeah. yeah. So banks of the hope. Yeah. Um, walk me through the creative history of that one. Did you? D were you envisaging when you're writing that verse to say, well, boy, okay, I need to make sure that it has that, um, it, it will resonate with people, not just well, Jamaican, but worldwide? You know what? That song came together really quickly okay. after me heard the rhythm and after identifying what I wanted the album title to be. Right. And also, you know, figuring out the texture of the overall content of the album. Um, you know, so we actually made the rhythm in the studio, me and um, Dale and, and um, Troy Baker. And, you know, it just, it, like, it really came together right. really quickly. It, you know, mm. much, much never went into it thought-wise uh, outside of those things in terms of, yo, uh, so this, I want, I put it this way, I wanted it to feel like uh, pretty much a title track for the album mm. I, and, and, and a, a summary of the album. Okay, yeah. okay. And so... Okay. Um, and then it's it's very easy to to speak about, you know, my experiences. Never break a spirit growing up broke, roll out smelling like carbolic soap. Like that's one hundred percent what it was. Know. People have yeah. uh, people have you know what carbolic soap is. You know what I mean? And when, when you said that, me say it's it resonates. Yeah, it, it, res it, it can't get no realer than <laughs> yeah, that, my real, brother. Man, you know, so real, yeah. so so yeah, it it was, you know, it was easy to 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 go back to. Um, you know the, the, that that time and place, and even the album cover is a picture of my, you know myself at ten, okay. and you know just going back to that time, like yeah, social mobility, limited scope. So that's what it feel like, you know, growing up in a place like Kintyre. It seemed like even Mona is such a great departure from there, okay. and okay. you know what I mean, like you know Mona is a is a a, a middle class um, community, mm. and you know in Kintyre it just feel like boy, I have to go work a miracle for you know for forever, you know, you know what I mean, and then <laughs> make, make it worse, Beverly Hills that yeah, no, no, Beverly no, no, Hills. No, no. You just know, say, ah, that, come on, are you kidding I'm like me? You need visa for yeah, Godessa, no? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we get that. So, yeah. and you know, so I remember, so but, so at one point, I wanted to live in Mona, like, because mm. I was thinking to myself, that's a reasonable, um, um, no, a reasonable ambition, in other yeah. words, reasonable in terms of attainable, in terms right. of, okay, nobody not going to think you're mad if you think, say, mm. you say you want, you know, come, come live in Mona eventually. Right. Um, but Jack's Hill and them places, you just look, when the bus are driving and you look mm. up at Jack's Hill, you just know, say, boy, but them people they are them yeah. people they are live nice, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um so yeah, so going back to that, you know, the lyrics is pretty much just, you know, examining that kind of mindset. So yeah, show some mobility, limited scope, but Mama make you know the time longer than rope. Oh. In other words, yeah, you might know you now go um be a kentire tonight and then a morning mm. you, you reach a jacksil, mm. but you know, through time. through time, you know, mm. you know, if you if you play your cards and, and you you know you're willing to work hard and you know be consistent enough and you know sacrifice when necessary and things like mm. that, then mm. you know that is not beyond you. Right, uh, you know, right, no way right. at all in the world as Absolutely. a matter of fact. Absolutely. You know, so 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 that's what I you know we try to capture, capture another verse. The song, yeah. right. Okay. I mean, I'm um, true like so so blessed we 
and Dre Island. I mean, Mama Prayed. I mean, again, that one, I feel like it's have a scare vibe on it too as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. we, we take it back. So one of the things that we tried upon the album as well is, is you know, a variety of textures mm, on it. Mm. And so, you know, that gave a different element in terms of, you know, taking it back to the real, just, you know, yeah, man, I feel so early days. You feel you, know? so you can have a remix with, with um with Toots 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 Absolu- jump on it. Absolutely, it yeah, yeah. Because I feel like something where him, you know, of yeah, course. Man, just and, you know, Toots is one of the, the artists that I admire too. And okay, you know, um, you know, really appreciate his contribution mm-hmm. and thing. And then Glacier Robinson on the track also, yes. just adds a different level of um, I guess. I don't know, just spirituality and, mm-hmm. and authenticity to the yeah, to man. the to the idea that I wanted to convey. Yeah, yeah, and of yeah. course, Mama Prayed itself, in terms of how it you know factors into the overall project, you know, my mother praying was a very significant part of my re- experience along, you know, the whole river and growing up, mm-hmm. you know, so it was a it was a central feature of it. So right. um and you know, the song serves also as a tribute to my mother because you know she passed away Peace in O five. Yeah man. Yeah, blessed still. Wow, wow, wow. Mama prayed, man. That's from the album um, Hope Bank, Hope River, which is out now. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, man. On all formats. <laughs> you understand? You can go and get that one right about now. I mean, my song, Epic Production, whatever. That feel like it should be in a film or something, man. Y- y- everybody um, said that. Everybody <laughs> said that. I mean, trust me. Feel like, you feel like it was in a movie, man. Winning yeah. right now. Again, that was a, that was the one that kind of introduced what was coming. Yeah, you understand? yeah That's for one sure. of the forerunners to the yes, album. For sure. And that one, they have the traditional, you know, the, the African drum yes. in there, drum driven. Yeah. Again, not a layer. Cause you have reggae. People don't realize that reggae have many layers within yeah, it. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The bass line the driven. Bass, right. The, the bass line driven. For the, sure. The, they the, have the, the guitar. rhythm guitar driven. Mm-hmm. And you have the, 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 the drum driven. Of yeah, course. that's that. The yes, catcher sir. drum. Yeah. So, so uh, talk me through that one. Eh? Winnie Ryan. That's one of your most successful tunes as well. Yeah, of course. Um, And so, so th- it's actually my wife who commissioned that song in terms of um the idea for the song okay. like you know <clears throat> she said i needed to be, do a song about winning and i want it to be um you know not no aspirational winning right. so not talking about no you wait till i get this job i'm gonna win and but i'm a soon winner yo them mm. soon no 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 just you know just winning right now so mm. th- which became the title of the, the, the song um and then the idea f- for me what it represents is just celebrating your circumstances right. regardless and you know um underscoring the attitude of gratitude which is something that i live by you know just mm-hmm. being grateful mm-hmm. you know for, for for today and and you know what your circumstances are so winning right now i forget that trophy to me living right now because i'm winning right now mm-hmm. and then with the visuals we really try to convey that idea so winning right now don't mean um money and and, and mm, things because mm, mm. easily you can imagine how the video would be if you see like you know some yeah, luxury carolina yeah, from yeah, the yeah, yeah, i said yeah. we're winning right now yeah. and i pour <laughs> champagne and different so <laughs> you know what i mean same same content yeah, you know yeah, yeah. but a totally different yes, thing yes. so with the video you see a, you see a single father a, a right guy shop you know the man in for come back come come him daughter here for right. same guy school that mm-hmm. is winning mm-hmm. yes. you know what i mean he's mm-hmm. a bicycle my ride but mm-hmm. then you see the businessman are driving Benz and he's also winning. winning yeah, but you yeah. know, so so we're winning in different ways and yes. essentially no, I think that's a a very powerful message for the time because mm. you know we find so, so much people up on Instagram and make comparisons steal them joy which is the <laughs> next thing what we talk about in yes. the album you know what I mean yes, yes. it's about you know just recognizing your own blessings and uh, recognizing your your, your 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 situation now because even if you're losing is a win you know why yes, yes. because you learn from Absolutely. the L's so y- so you're always winning is, is the message in the song Absolutely. winning right now <laughs> yeah man no hype right now we're winning right now thanks we're giving right now <laughs> see you <me, yes>, <laughs> because we're living right now for real man yeah no bargain no deal yeah so um they will rob you you understand and buju bantan you have a you have a um as a, 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 like a part of a um intro a that, intro yeah, yeah intro or a right, skit right. or what have you uh, mm-hmm. but from buju bantan now that almost speaks to like what he like almost prophetic in what he's saying like yeah, he that saw was from all four, from 04 mm-hmm. it's like he saw in you mm-hmm. what you are becoming today yeah back then yeah you understand it's so, very powerful yes indeed i mm-hmm. mean it, when i when i listen I mean, and, and and i realized that that was from all four mm-hmm. so was was buju one of like your mentors coming absolutely up? man i mean you know you can be you can be 
Um, I love off reggae and dancehall and 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 go around Bujo. Yeah, 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 there's just no going around no it. Like, Bujo is a turning point in the music in terms of where um, a certain type of delivery and lyrical content. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. Bujo became the first artist that start say word where you wonder, what on the, why am I talking about? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you go look it up and realize about wait, I know what malapropism. It right. really yes. mean what I'm saying. Say, yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, absolutely, Bujo is one of my main influences. And then um, even in a more direct way. You know, you know, starting out my career at Penthouse, mm. um, and then it's people, a lot of people, yeah, mm, a lot of people don't even know that my the first time I saw my name on a record, it was produced by Bujo, um, for Gargamel Music, a song called Revamp, okay. you know, and then even in them times, I used to go audition on a Bujo in my school uniform, I left school <laughs> at even time. <laughs> he used to actively try to teach with things at that time, you know, mm. so like I remember one time a DJ a song and him said, Boy, juvenile is tough, but a five song that. Because just too much lyrics in it. Okay. You know, so okay, I say, yeah, but, it but you're still in a school and mm -hmm. you know, I know you have a lot to say and rare, rare, and you will get it to your system. Right. You know, so so yeah, him always, you know, just try to impart some kind of knowledge and thing. I you know, I toured with him um for like uh, two yeah, I went on two tours, one uh, um a, a small tour in Europe and then a more extensive one in the US. Right. Um, and you know, like we had many conversations. Sometimes the bus I drive from one state to the next, and you know, everybody are sleeping on the bus. And me and Bujo, you know, up at the front, I was some reason. And you know, like to me, like them times, I mean, me, me and Spraga, you know, about also a close relationship, yes, yes. Um, but but you know, those times on that bus driving through some part of middle America mm. where all you can see is the, the light from the bus <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. and the star and the sky yeah, and me and Buja yeah. reason. Are you right. kidding me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, them things is, is things I may cherish, you know, for the rest of my life Absolutely. clearly. And um, you know, then and then when I got somebody sent me this this um excerpt from the interview, actually G Money sent it to me, who was the person who was conducting the interview. Okay. And when I got that I knew immediately that I I needed to email it to myself several times and save it because I must find some use for this, um, yes. even if it's just for listening and play from a grand picnic them or something. <laughs> and so, and so, you know, um, this album when we started put it together and the song Journey come up, I realized that right, Journey, why you know th that Buju in intro could have been a, a, a good, a good, mm, you know, mm. so it, it worked. For the journey start, I mean Red Square as well. Like I yeah. interviewed Am um, Spraga Benz was it last week as well? He's in town. He's got a new yeah, album. Man. I know you have a tune. You feature on one of his tunes on his album as mm. well. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, the whole Red Square thing. I mean, I know how, how does that work now? I mean, I know it's a label and what have you. I know Um Spraga was also one of your mentors of course up as absolutely well. yeah so how, how does that work i mean i, I think hollow point is with him as well I was yeah like, so you yeah, so here's the thing right what people need to recognize spraga is always you know one of the artists who um you know have some young artists are the next trying to give an opportunity mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. i am a beneficiary of, of that um you know vibe and um you know and and it, it still continues and you know i'm i'm out there doing my thing as, as sasco and and you know pursuing my journey but at the same time you know, I'm. You know, Red Square is a part of who I am, and mm. and and you know, a part of my story. Mm. And also, I'm always a part of that mission. In other words, you know, Briggy Benz. Um, you know, when we go New York, me and Briggy link up right. and thing. And mm. um, you know, I'm like Red Square. Like you know, what I'm I'm still a part of that mission in terms of supporting mm. what Spraga is trying to do. And even by extension, now looking for young artists myself okay. for, for start. Um, you know, you know, you know. I guess, you know help to to forward the music you right. know just as oh like you know somebody did help me for you know forget going absolutely mm -hmm. so yeah speaking of spraga you understand um um change mm -hmm. right featuring stone boy and yeah. spraga from and kabaka pyramid and kabaka pyramid from yeah. from the, the album yeah. whoop river which is out now yes <laughs> you understand on all formats yes sir you understand? right okay um I mean, again, me as a man, I have always penned the lyrics to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, me no, listen, uh, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Um, but man for sale in Libya. So here we go again. Slavery still the boat, but on a cotton neither cane. Look around you, a lot of black man in a chain. Who have it round the neck, that have it wrap up round the brain. So both is slave. No, no, I put no. Both your, oh, no, I put over your gain. Talk about what you're wearing, the brand you with the name. You start push up your nose, car, you move off of the lane. And then and, and couldn't give a sexual intercourse about all who getting slain. Right. And couldn't <laughs> couldn't give a yeah. about all who's getting slain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you listen again, layered lyrics within yeah. that. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but you keep there is it's one thing that you're, you're talking about one injustices mm. you're talking about people who perceive themselves to be better than others mm -hmm. you're talking about people who maybe to a degree don't understand who they are and what they are and have misappropriated priorities yes sir you understand mm -hmm. so so many messages within that mm -hmm. and when you talk about these things and the name of the song is change these mm -hmm. things need to change and that's Thank the overall yeah. the overarching message yes within one verse yeah so that's why i really think people need to pick apart Mm -hmm. These lyrics, you know, really mm -hmm. list, read every line, yeah, and see the directions that you're going in. And how 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 does it? How do you? Um, because you we have so many things. You could go in so many directions with this thing, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. got a verse which has I don't know so many lines within, it, so many bars you have to deliver in. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel constrained to say, okay, how am I gonna fit all this into one verse? Well, so a part of my journey, as 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 Bujo did tell me, um, and as a year and the, the interlude was. Him say, um, him have him have to master certain things, and it will come through the passage of time. And so, one of the things that from day one, Buju was telling me is that too much lyrics in the song. Right. May I try to say too much? Okay. Um, and it took me more than a decade to start realize that yeah, maybe we need to slow it down for you and take mm. out some of them things. Like, mm. um, yeah, you have a lot to say. Oh, you remember you remember composition at school when them tell you. Um, 500 words yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um so it, it's that and sometimes i'm telling 200 words mm -hmm. sometimes i'm telling 100, 100 words, yeah. so so my challenge has been all right you have all these things you need to say mm -hmm. how can you say it in 100 words versus a thousand right and so you know that's another skill set to have to make sure so when you are editing them mm -hmm. they might get said and right cut straight to, to it point. Yeah. yes yeah. yes okay so talk about the creative history of that track. obviously like we say you got so yeah like, keep kibaka baka cut kibaka pyramid uh -huh. um, Kabaka pyramid. Kibaka yes. pyramid. Yeah, um, Kabaka. Him say people always like call him Kibaki. You know the man name is Kabaka, Kabaka pyramid. pyramid. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. So what made you the creative is that? Well, so uh, you know, I w when the when the story um broke online about the situation in Libya and facts, uh, man still a sell about the place. Mm. You know, I, I found that to be very jarring in terms of 2018. I thought that that was you know so long ago, mm. and the change that so many of our forefathers them did fight for did already underway even right, though right. you know you have so many injustices day by day where people have to endure mm. but i did think say it did pass man i sell man right. you know what <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah. and so and so that's where the you know the, the um the, the idea for the song started off is actually a song that we also i went live with the rhythm or we're building the rhythm and we start getting the idea I, mean, I said people yo what do you think we're for doing this yo what do mm. you say and people mm. are like, yo put Sprague up on it I'm going to say yo word for real mm. and Sprague himself joined the live and be like yeah man I'm ready I'm ready you know what I <laughs> right. mean yeah Red and um, and then you know a couple of people say yo what about Kabaka um, Kaba mm. wait, wait, wait. and so you know we put it together and, and, and we're able to get that done as right. such for real so okay, beyond the album, just a, little, a bit of horizons can we out the building soon anyway. So yeah. I mean there's never enough time, Bridge. We're gonna come at Jamaica and link you in and I'm gonna yeah, sit down and reason, come at Diamond Studio and those yeah, all the yeah, proper vibes yeah, away, man. With, with the time constraints aren't are not so restrictive yeah. and really proper of a chat. But yeah, beyond the album now, what do you what do you see on the do a bit of horizon scanning? Um what can we expect from yeah, well, from Sasko? So so this album is a product of me having my own creative space for less than six months mm. right okay okay <laughs> argument done right so you know when you have it <laughs> right where we are going with that Bridget, let people know your twitter your facebook check right. your club and respect it's agent sasco and it's the same thing instagram twitter facebook a g e n t s a s c o let's go love and respect hope hope river river of hope check it out